Good morning, my loves. Welcome back. So today I have a special little video for you. Um, it's going to be a short one, but uh, we are talking about your favorite subject again, synastry. And we are talking about what it means when one person's Saturn is squaring the other person's Neptune. Oh la la. Two of our favorites in synastry coming together in one of the most difficult uh, or shall we say challenging aspects well let's uh, dissect saturn is karma saturn is time saturn is where we learn the bigger lessons those lessons are learned generally with saturn by taking things away dissecting it and removing removing everything that is not necessary to get down to the bones right we are talking about Saturn ruling Capricorn, the bones. We have got to get down to the bones. And it is generally not a gentle energy. It's not an energy where we feel warm and cozy. However, we can feel very stable and grounded with this energy if we do the work. If we allow ourselves to strip away everything that is unnecessary, everything that makes us wobbly, we can find stability. Um, it will take time and it will probably also um, make us go through trials and tribulations. Now, that is one side. Now, the other side, we are talking about Neptune. Neptune, the rose-colored glasses. Neptune, all the possibilities. No boundaries. Where on one side, with Saturn, we have boundaries, period. On the other side, we have no boundaries. Now, if one person's Neptune, one person's possibilities, boundlessness, and the other person's boundaries, so what we can experience here is that the Saturn person really wants to make this relationship work. They really want to um, also bring in some structure, bring in some understanding, bring in some uh, definition. But the Neptune, but they will experience the Neptune person often as very irresponsible, very. Um, unreliable as well not in every regard not i'm not saying that neptune person is for sure completely unreliable but it is the, the experience of the saturn person that when i need them they are not around when i ask them to do this they, they don't do this there is there is the will and the desire desire <laughs> we talk about saturn we don't really talk about desire but there is this intention to 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 make this relationship work because Saturn wants to make things work but Neptune can never really be hold, held on to Neptune is always just like slipping slipping away and we try to hold Neptune but Neptune is slipping away and on the other side Neptune can find the Saturn person um, very restrictive. They their fears and their their worries. Neptune doesn't understand that. Neptune, the Neptune person is like, what? Why are you worrying about this? I don't understand why you need to worry about this. Um, so there is this feeling of restriction. It's like you worry about this. So we can't ever get anywhere. We can't do anything. We want. I want to travel with you, but you are restricting it because you tell me you have a nine to five job and you can't get away, or you have this, or you have that. So there's a lot of frustration and the frustration runs on both ends. Um, and what we end up with often is um, a lot of blaming here. There's the, the blame game is, is strong um, also on both sides. And we, we will never really feel the satisfaction because again, the Saturn person wants to hold on to something that is slipping through the fingers and the the, the, the Neptune person wants to just explore all the opportunities and possibilities, but can't do that with the Saturn person because the Saturn person is like, no, it has to be done this way. No, it has to be done that way. I'm not saying this is a deal breaker, 
but it is it can be a very very difficult influence that we uh, have to deal with ongoing because when we talk about Saturn we talk about long term there are of course lessons in here right because the closer we get to each other the closer we can get to each other where we can allow ourselves to see the other side we understand the other person's fears um, like the Neptune person understands why Saturn has these fears and the Saturn person learns to understand the, the, the free spiritness of the Neptune person and how Saturn can actually benefit from that how Saturn can use this as a um, inspiration you know we can make this work again it's an aspect where we probably first will run through a lot of lot of big issues but if we manage to overcome them and overcome them we might learn to to really appreciate that what the other person brings right that structure that saturn brings and the, the possibilities and the excitement and the playfulness that Neptune brings. Um, if we manage to allow time to, um, to be a part of our relationship, to, if we allow each other to learn from each other, then um, there is a lot of potential here um, where we can take a lot from it, where we can learn a lot from it, both of us. But uh, this is not going to be an easy one absolutely not because Neptune will find Saturn to be uh, like a party pooper <laughs> as they say right like that you know you take the joy out of everything and Saturn will feel like Neptune is like a child totally irresponsible this is not the only aspect that uh, the couple will have and maybe there are some aspect that um, tame this one a little bit that alter this one a little bit make it lighter but if we have more of these types of aspects especially aspects with neptune harsh and hard aspects with neptune that can just make us feel like this relationship is impossible it's impossible i love this person but they are impossible to be with that's what neptune feels like i love them i love them but they are impossible to actually live with so um, see what you can learn with this and allow yourself to you know to be open to to see the higher expression of your partner's um what your partner brings into the relationship it's it's about learning to appreciate the other and uh, all the quirks that they have and all the perceived like limitations that they have there are lessons in here right like where can you find your lightheartedness where can you find the opportunities where can you see the possibilities where can you be more playful and also where would it help you to be more structured in life where can you get further in life by being more structured we can learn that from the other from each other so if you have any questions about this aspect feel free to ask in the comment section if you want a personal reading click on the link in the description box and book your reading there anything else ask away i wish you a beautiful day and i will see you in